So step one is becoming aware. Step two is choosing productive thoughts that build my sense of self. And if we're not careful, this slips right into like Stuart Smalley, like, gosh, darn it, I'm good enough. And people like, that's so corny, kind of big eyed way of thinking about it. I want to put a sharp stick or sharp edge to the stick, which is like, everything you say is taking you somewhere. And I want to be great at my thoughts because I know that thoughts and emotions work together. And when I want to go into a challenging environment, because that's what makes us now, when we go to challenging environments, do we have the inner skills to manage it? The inner skills are really managing the emotional part of it, right? It's not a thinking part. It's can I manage my emotions in this electric environment? Guess what? That electric environment could be in the living room with a conversation with a loved one. And if you lose your emotions, you're not going to find the right words to share how much you care and solving the problems together. You get pissed off. You start to critique and defend yourself and stonewall a little bit from the other person. And that's just because emotions took over and we lost access to our thinking mind. So here's what I'm committed to for myself is working on awareness of how my thoughts and emotions work together so that I'm practiced at it so I can go into highly emotionally charged environments and be present and be calm. Calm and confidence are both skills. They're different. Being calm is a skill. 